And we're going to get our next bout called to the match. To the mat. Can't call it to the match. I don't, I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work. How do you catch a squirrel? I don't know that. Climb up a tree and act like a nut. Oh, this one. What kind of star can hurt you? A pointing star. A what? A pointing star. That would probably hurt too. The answer here is a shooting star. What's a pointing star? Guys got pointing ends on. <laughs> I think you're making things up here. That's all right. I make stuff up all the time. Why do we not tell secrets Why? to a corn patch? Why? Way too many ears. Yes, good. yes, they're very cheesy, ladies and gentlemen. They're Laffy Taffy jokes. They're supposed to be cheesy. A little bit of a riddle in there somewhere, but yeah. she's delicious. Yeah. So we're waiting on Amos Tong and Henning Skillbread. Henning Skillbread, Chicago Wrestling. There you go. That is Sandy calling her him, excuse me. Sandy's a her, Henning is a him. Amos Tong out of Honolulu. Got a Hawaiian in the house. And Skillbred makes his way up to the mat. Tall fellow over on the left side of your screen. And we now wait for Amos Tong. Amos we are jumping up 130 kilograms. That's 186 and a half. That is a big dude on the mat. Not somebody I would want to stand across from and Junior try to have to wrestle. Matt Dine is now closed. Junior Matt Dine is now closed. What's that you guys say? You want more Laffy Taffy jokes? Good. Glad you said that. Why did the Dalmatian need glasses? I don't know. Tick. Tick. Anyone? He was seeing spots. <laughs> you gotta think here. You gotta, you gotta put those think. wheels together and let them turn. And here we go. We got Amos Tong making his way onto the mat. So we are indeed gonna have a match. Skillbred in the blue, Tong in the red. And this bout is underway. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> Now it is 130 kilograms. Tong. Giving up, uh, shoot, almost a whole head. Hide a head. To Skillbred, what I'm trying to say is Skillbred's taller. Saying it in a confusing manner, so I apologize. But we're gonna see these guys in an overhook to a two-on-one. Skillbred loses it. Tong, keeping those elbows in. The two wrestling for position here. Skillbred looking for the two-on-one. Tong caught that opposite elbow. That's a good two-on-one defense. Skillbred to the two on one. Tong trying to fight hands. Skillbred brings him down to the mat. Nothing here, and Tong's going to turn it into his own offense. Great job there. Capitalized on a position there. It was Skillbred who pulled him down to the mat with the two on one. It was unable to circle behind and gain control. And uh, good mat awareness by Tong. He was able to scoot around himself, circle around for the takedown. He goes up 1 0. 30 seconds to go just before. It was 0 0, of course, we would have gone to the top bottom clinch. Drag. Uh, arm drag. 
Oh, that was a double leg attempt. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you can't do that in Draco. Pretty sure you can either. It's all over. Okay, I lied. I am sure. You can't do that. You can't, you can't shoot double legs. So he didn't give up a point for that, though, which is interesting because that double leg or almost double leg that he went for stopped. It prevented Skillbred from scoring. And uh, take what you can get. First period goes to Amos Tong on a 1-0 score. So do you have any idea what the flower said to the bike? No. Anyone? Pedal. Ah, you got it. You like that. We got, we got people all over the place pulling their heads up thinking that I'm telling the stupidest jokes in the world, which may or may not be the case. More Laffy Taffy jokes later. Now back to the action. Second period in front of us. Amos Tong up one period to zero, although Skillbred kind of pressed the action. It was it was Amos scoring off of one of Skillbred's attacks, and then Amos stopped Skillbred from scoring with a appeared to be a double leg attempt. There's that two on one again. So we've seen Skillbred be able to get to that attack to that position. He finds himself with that two on one. He's tried to pull it down, almost scored a couple times, but unable to completely capitalize. And there he goes. He takes it off from from the collar, goes opposite side, gets the two on one again. Amos comes collar, shoves his head in the temple, goes to that far elbow here, and now shoves on the shoulder neck, gets himself freed from the hold. Ticks down, a minute 30 gone. We're gonna go top bottom. Amos will get set underneath. Following junior weights are also now released. 120 juniors now released. 132, 138 now released. Scale Brad's gonna get the turn. He's gonna get two. It is not hand to hand. He leads this thing 2 0. 20 seconds to go. And do you just kind of sit under your lead? Do you try to get another gut wrench? From skill, Brad. I don't know that I try to gut again because you're going to need that energy. You got another period. Wait. Yep. It's going to be 1 1. 3, 2, 1. And skill, Brad doesn't work for another turn, but the two is all he needed. He wins that period 2 0. So we're tied 1 1 on periods, and you guys know what that means. What has four legs and go boo? A sick cow. I don't make these up, ladies and gentlemen. I just read them. You don't like it? That nah, wasn't the best, but that's what we have. And that kills our time in between periods. Both guys get to their corners, get cooled off, get toweled off, and they're going to come back to the center. We're going to touch, ch touch chests. And action will go. Again, we see Skillbred to that two on one. That is a favorable position for him. 
And he's going to try to get it again on his right side. Left arm of Amos. Tong kicks away. Or pulls his arm free anyways. And we see once again, Skillbred working on that arm. Trying to get to his two-on-one. And he does. But again, as soon as he gets there, Amos Tong pulls his arm back, frees himself. And we're down under a minute to go here in the first period. No, third period. Go top bottom, I believe. Tong's gonna be on top this time. Blue will have choice. And once again, he's still gonna put Tong, Amos Tong underneath. He went gut wrench to the right side. May have even been a trapped arm gut. And again, he's going to get that gut wrench locked up. He's trying to go to the right. And again, he's going to score two points. Skillbred leads 2-0. And this time he says, why not? Let's go for another one. He leads 4-0. And they're out of bounds. We will have time to recover after this match. So you might as well get at it. To their feet. Tong needs a big score here. He needs two threes or five in ten seconds. I'm not sure it's gonna be able to happen. And that'll be it in the third period. With a 4-0 score in the third. It's gonna be skillbred. Your winner, he moves on.